So many of us have that box, you know, in the back of a closet. Maybe it's in your attic full of old family photos and memorabilia. And it kind of sits there for years because you're just not sure what to do with it or even where to begin. Yeah, but they're so very important. And they we are. love having them. We love going through them. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite parts about going to my grandparents' yeah. house. But our Lauren Verno found out from Consumer Reports that there are some fun and easy tricks to help preserve your family's memories so that you can have them for generations to come. Consumer Reports' social media manager, David Morgan, has been working on preserving family photos for a few years. It really kind of started when my dad passed, um, just because we were trying to get his obituary together. Now I'm uh, trying to really organize things by year, by name. Since just getting started can feel overwhelming, Consumer Reports suggests this. Start with what you think is most important. Find the photos and the documents that are really going to mean something to you and to other people years from now. Consumer Report says it's important to label everything lightly with a soft pencil. Add every detail you know to the back edges of photos, including names, dates, and locations. You may also want to interview the oldest person in your family to help you fill in any blanks and get the stories behind the photos. Next, it's time to restore whatever pictures you can. David used Photoshop on his parents' 1969 prom photo. I just really like that photo because my mom uh, was really proud of that dress. To help future-proof your memories, Consumer Reports says... Use acid-free materials when you're storing your photos and documents. This will really help them from degrading over time. Also, protect your items from bright or direct light. Keep them at a consistent, comfortable temperature and avoid humidity. Don't store them in your attic or basement. And keep photos clean using a soft brush or lint-free cloth. You can also make digital copies from the originals using a scanner or even your smartphone. Then store those files in a few safe places, your computer, an external hard drive, and the cloud. As for David, he says he has more work to do. Correct more photos, print out more photos, have, you know, written recipes and stories and anecdotes. He's hoping to have it done in time for the holidays.